Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a fantastic attacking game played by American chess player George Derrickson. Though Derrickson died at a very early age, at the age of 16, he left us several immortal games and in this video I want to share with you one of them. In this game his opponent was Jay Rowand and the game was played in 1860 in Philadelphia. Rond was playing with the white pieces opened up with e4 and Derrickson responded with e5. Bishop c4, we have the bishops opening, knight f6, d3, bishop c5, bishop g5, d6, knight f3, knight c6, white castles, kingside. According to modern theory, the best continuations are c3 or knight c3, but in our game we have castling kingside, uh, which is also a normal move, but of course not as ambitious as those moves which I mentioned. Here comes bishop g4, h3 and a hyper-aggressive response by Derrickson h5. He's sacrificing his bishop in order to open up the h-file and launch an attack. That's why he was still delaying castling kingside. White accepted the bishop sacrifice and captured on g4. H takes g4, knight h2 and g3. Black is using the fact that the pawn on f2 is pinned. I have to tell you that previously I have already published a game played by Derrickson where this position has also been seen. In that game his opponent was J. Smith. Again was played in 1860 in Philadelphia and I will pin the link of that game in the comment section. In that game Smith proceeded with knight f3, after which Derrickson sacrificed his queen by going for knight g4. But in our game after g3 we have knight g4, which is a more precise continuation. The idea is that now if knight takes g4 then instead of bishop takes d8 which is losing, White can recapture with the queen. I have to tell you that this knight g4 is actually the best continuation. If g takes f2, then rook takes f2. If queen d7, then queen g3. And all in all, the players have equal chances. Let's go back. But in our game after knight g4, we have g takes f2 check. And now by recapturing on f2 with the rook, white could maintain advantage. But in our game after g takes f2 check, white played knight takes f2, which allows black to equalize the game. In here a question arises, how should black proceed with his game? And I have to tell you that Derrickson found a spectacular continuation and he played knight takes e4. Look at this brutal queen sacrifice, guys. White accepted the queen sacrifice, but now let's see where is black's compensation. Here comes knight g3 with a direct mating threat using the fact that the knight on f2 is pinned. d4, which is a total mistake and is losing on the spot. In here it was better to play bishop takes f7, actually this is the only move which allows white to survive. If king takes d8 then bishop h5, yes by giving back the queen white is managing to neutralize the mating threat and the players have equal chances. But in our game after knight g3 we have d4 and Derrickson simply munched that pawn. Knight takes d4. Right now the threat is rook h1 check. For example if you develop your knight then black can go for rook h1 sacrifice and after knight takes h1 can announce a checkmate. Truly a spectacular checkmate, right? Let's go back. In our game after knight takes d4 white played bishop takes f7. And Derrickson simply won it. King takes f7. Here Rowan announced a discovered check and at the same time covered the h-file. But in return, George Derrickson covered his king with a knight, played knight f3, announced a double check and actually checkmated white king. How do you like this checkmate, guys? We first saw knight h3 check and then knight f3 checkmate. From a side this may sound crazy, but guys, this is not from a fantastic genre. This is a real game. Look at this. Knight h3 check and then knight f3 checkmate. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. How do you like this insane game? I have to tell you that a similar idea we have already seen in a game played by Barney Winkelmann, where white announced a check and in return black announced a checkmate. But this one is a different one with something special guys. By the way, on your screen just popped up that game played by Barney Winkelmann. Feel free to check that game as well. 
and in the end let's solve a chess puzzle please take a look at this position and try to find mate into its white to move i will wait for your answer in the comment section when it comes to our main game i hope that you enjoyed it greatly share it with your friends let them know about this beauty as well i will see you in my next video take care